Hello and welcome to Council Recap, where we take the content of City Council meetings and give you a breakdown. I'm Evan Arani. To start off the October 11th Council meeting, the Council heard a presentation from Liza Simone and Dulce Stein to discuss the work done by Phantom Galleries in filling empty storefronts with artwork. For over two years, Phantom Galleries has brought artists to present their work in exhibitions as part of an ongoing effort to increase the art in the city. In the second presentation, Councilwoman Olivia Valentine presented Victor Alvarez with the Environmental Stewardship Award for his work to recycle and save energy at his restaurant, Me California. In the resolutions portion, the Council passed Resolution 7850 after it was sent back for revisions at the last meeting. The resolution formally adopts a policy on accepting donated artwork such as murals for city-owned property, including parks. In Resolution 7854, the Council approved permit-only parking on Jefferson Avenue between 129th Street and 130th Street. The Council also passed Resolution 7855, which approved the submittal of a grant from the U.S. Department of Justice, which will go toward technology upgrades and advancements for the City of Hawthorne and the Hawthorne Police Department. Resolution 7856 proclaimed the month of October 2016 as Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the City of Hawthorne. The Council also passed Resolution 7857, which proclaimed October 15th through November 15th as Hispanic Heritage Month. In the Ordinance portion, the Council passed Ordinance 2124, which establishes zoning and development standards for alcoholic beverage manufacturers or breweries in Hawthorne. In the City Manager's Consent Calendar, the Council approved a payment to sequel contractors to begin construction for the Marine Avenue Improvement Project. This project will add two lanes to help ease traffic on Marine Avenue. The project will also upgrade traffic signals and repave the road. The improvement project is funded through Measure R grant money. The Council also approved the construction of speed bumps on 120th Street between Haas Avenue and Wilton Place. A payment was approved to O'Duffy Brothers Incorporated for storm drain improvements and installation of infiltration chambers on Hawthorne Boulevard. This payment was made through Proposition 84 grant money. Another approved payment was to Martinez Landscape, funded through Gas Tax and Weed Abatement Fund. A fourth and final payment was made to MSL Electric for upgraded traffic signals in five intersections on Inglewood Avenue. Next, the Council approved a payment to Southern California Edison for relocation of transmission poles. These poles are necessary for the widening of the intersection at Inglewood Avenue and El Segundo Boulevard, and the payment is funded through Measure R. The Council also approved a payment to Golden State Water Company for relocating an emergency interconnect on a water line at the same intersection. Next, a payment was approved to purchase earthquake insurance for the City Hall building. Payment for the insurance is included in the fiscal year approved budget. Lastly, the Council approved the amendment of Exhibit A of Resolution 7853. This resolution approved the Memorandum of Understanding between the City and the Hawthorne Executive Group. The amendment was made to conform with CalPERS requirements. Thank you for joining us, and remember you can watch all City Council meetings in their entirety by going to www.cityofhawthorne.org forward slash council dash videos forward slash. We'll see you next time.